Well, hello everybody. This is David Miazga from David Miazga Films and RedYourCityTV.ca. Um, I'm just going to do a short little uh, tutorial about the new Premier Pro, um, uh, the new Premier Pro 8, I guess it is, uh, the, uh, that just came out here the other day. Um, and we have better support for Magic Lantern RAW video. Um, and now there is 16-bit support um, of the C uh, Cinema DNG. So I'm just going to go through a quick step here. Um, so other guys are having problems with pink highlights. So I will open up a file here, and I'll just I'll just walk through this real quick. Like uh, I know most of you already know how to do this. So um, I don't. Oh, sorry. I just got to get a different volume here. Effects. Hang on. Nope. Sorry should be right right there it is okay uh well that's the raw one here whole time music where to go Adobe test there it is okay uh so this is a MOV I shot here uh 2014 May uh not too long ago here so I'm just gonna run through this here I use the MOV browser sharp and as you see, it's already been seen, so I'm just going to run through the step here quickly for people that don't know about it or haven't used it or, or such. So that is in um, volume E, open up volume E, and here it is, and here's the file here. <clears throat> and then my settings, as you see, it's just, just 300 frames, and there's the settings for it right there. Okay, so you just export as a raw uh, to wave. This is my workflow. I know there's other ways of doing this, but this seems to work very well for me. So I'll just keep with it. So I always export as a raw, and then I and end the wave. So then I always have that in the backup instead of an MOV because there's more tools to extract the raw than there is MOV at the moment. Okay, so once you've done that, I've already done that. So we'll just exit out of there. Um, <clears throat> okay, so. Um, here's the file that I have generated, okay, and that's the raw with the audio. Let's move this over a bit here. And then what I use is the raw to Cinnamon D 1.4.9. Now I don't use the new generation 1.5, that's why my I do believe my 16-bit. Uh, Cinema DNGs work without any issues. Oh, there we go. Stopped working. There we go. Um, and then there again, just grab your raw file, set it on there, and there you go. There's my size, uh, my frames, black level, and such. Okay. Then I just I have my own uh, TIFF tag model. I use the 5D Mark II with uh, Cinnamon DG 1.49 and it embeds and locks the profile down to a Cinnamon D profile so I don't get all the camera raw profiles. 16 bit depth, okay. Uh, you can go other ones, but this is the one I use. Uh, and I leave party mode off and gamma, and gamma control uh, there. And then I just, I just export that. Now, I've already done that over here as you can see and there they are with the wave okay so now that we've done that we will open up the new Adobe Premiere Pro and I'll just go through. I had ready start. I ready. I have ready started a project. Um, right there, raw test. I'll just open it up for you guys. There it is. Now, let me. Okay, there we go. I will just go back to my browser. I'm just getting used to this one here. But anyway, so this is my original file that I brought in. Now that's the Cinema DNGs um, from version 1.49, and people are complaining about pink highlights um, coming in. I really don't 
really notice anything, any issues. Now, if you want, you can go into here and source setting. And now this is what you get for controls for the Cinema DNGs. Um, you can have as shot um, or your temperature, and and then you can mess. However, you know whatever. And then you get your tint. And then your exposure, of course. You can see some little blue uh, pinks there. Um, I'm not too thrilled about the controls. It's better than it was, or you can just reload it from the file. It's better than it was. Um, I would have liked to have seen the ACR plugin come up in here. I don't know why they didn't do that, but I would have liked to have seen that. Okay, so now I've done a little bit of grading on this one here, and I'll just open it up here. Um, the sequence, oops. And what I've done, I'll just turn everything off here, first of all. Uh, oops. Pro M. Sorry. Uh, okay, so auto level. I got auto level on there. I'll turn that off. Actually, I can. Actually, auto level uh, without it on is actually pretty good. Um, more options. There we go. I want to turn that one off. And then I've just been playing with some of the tools. I've, I'm a Final Cut Pro user. I love it. Um, but the raw aspect of it is very difficult to work in. You can, but it's, it's very difficult. And I'm just looking for a better alternative here. Okay, so uh, this is what you got now. So this is what I brought in, as you can see. And audio is uh, seems to be synced, not a problem. Um, mind you, it's just a short clip, so so just to prove um, what's happening here. Properties, and this is the Cinema DNG. Uh, I want to make a note that. It's still bringing them in at 24 frames, and even though I shot it at 23.976. There's my audio, uh, Cinema DNG properties, uh, no, the camera information, and all that. So there you go. It's not perfect. It's better than it was. Now you'll have to. I find that you'll have to modify your interpret your footage, like you used to, um, like you always had to do I guess um, to get the right frame rate okay so that's all you need to do there and to get uh, they have added some information which is kind of nice and then there it is right there um, things are get, things are a lot better okay so we'll just move on here and and this is what I've done. Originally I did auto uh, levels, which I thought weren't too bad. Uh, I'm looking for something that's real quick. I don't need to, I don't have time to mess with stuff um, as I need a quick turnaround time. So basically what I originally started with um, working here was I used auto level first. And then I applied, there I worked with the shadow highlights a bit. So that's sort of like your ACR a little bit. Um, it's not bad. Then there's more options. So it actually there is better control. And as you can see, these are my settings. Um, real quick, uh, I didn't spend a lot of time with this. Then I, I set up levels. Uh, I still need some work, some sharpness. And some sharpness there. and. Then I went to the Luma corrector, which wasn't actually, actually it's quite, quite nice. And that's actually, that's what I've ended up with my grade. Um, nothing fancy, it didn't have to, you know, really crank on anything at all. Um, that's the auto level off there again, and it looks quite nice. Um, and basically, this is a project I worked on, I've been, I'm working on in Final Cut Pro. And basically, yeah, there it is. 
and it doesn't look too bad at all. It's pretty much the, that's the way it should look. Uh, this is all natural light inside of a church. So, um, yeah, pink highlights. I don't see an issue. I don't know what really what people are talking about there. Uh, I think it has to something to do with the rod of cinnamon D and G converter. As you see, I don't have an issue there at all. Um, and I can open up some more. I do have some more. And I, I have another project that I'm working on um, here there's a ways and I don't know if I have any other cinema D and G's here oh hang on I have raw but there's nothing in there uh, I think it's in this one here cinema D and G's there we go and then there's all my files that I converted on another project. Open them up and it's reading. And there we go. It's just a little uh, music thing I was, I've been working on. And, the, and this was done um, with... I can load the file, there we go. That looks really nice. And that is um, right out of the camera, just converted with uh, Raw to Cinema, <clears throat> Cinema D&G version 1.4.9 and uh, yeah that's without any controls being done uh, without anything being really done to it uh, you know it's uh, and there it is revealed it's uh, got some nifty things going on for it um, so yeah it's it's workable but one thing I having a problem with is monitoring there's no uh, they have no support for external monitoring unless you have um, a Invi Nvidia Quattro SDI card I do believe something like that or you can go through speed grade but then again you need extra stuff so I'm, I'm disappointed in that um, Anyway, so there you go, guys. Uh, there was just a quick little uh, test, and this is on the PC. Um, I don't expect anything different on the Mac. So Adobe's Adobe is starting to look up. Um, things are getting better. Not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was. So this is David Miazga from David Miazga Films, 2014 in RedyourCityTV.ca. Happy shooting.